Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta. And today we will understand how to run linear regression using learner operator in NIME. Before that, let's try to understand what is a regression analysis. In regression analysis, we are having two types of variable. One dependent and another independent. Dependent variable is one and independent variables can be many. Moreover, dependent and independent variable, it's necessary that both are continuous. Continuous, the examples are blood pressure, weight, height. Here, we want to develop a relationship between weight and blood pressure. We want to check that if the weight increases, does the blood pressure of any person increases or not. The basic assumption is that the relationship between dependent and independent variable is linear. Now, how we can do this? Let's see in 9. So, first of all, we'll activate input output from here. I'll activate the Excel reader from here as my data set is in Excel format. Double click on it so that I can browse the data set. My data set is empty cars. I'll connect this data set now with the NIME Analytics platform. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. As soon as the node turns green, we are in the position to extract the information from this node. Again, right click on it and see the file table. The variables which are there in this data set are model, miles per gallon of the car, number of cylinders, displacement, horsepower, displacement rate, weight of the vehicle, QSEC, vertical or straight engine, VS means vertical or straight engine, automatic or manual transmission, number of gears, and, num and number of carburetors. We want to find out. If we keep the uh, MPG, miles per gallon, as the dependent variable, what are the factors which influence the mileage of the vehicle? For this, we will consider the horsepower of the vehicle and the weight of the vehicle. From here, we will activate linear regression learner. Right click on it and configure. There may be many variables this side. You have to press double arrow. We want to make the carbo we want to make the mileage as the target variable you can see here and the horsepower remove the carburetor also horsepower and weight as the independent variables if you are having any missing values you can ignore rows with the missing values directly from here click ok right click on it and execute again right click on it and you can see the coefficient and statistics which are there. I have simply co copied this coefficient and statistics in my word file so that we can do the interpretation nicely. For any variable to be significantly contributing to the dependent variable, I mean to say here is, see this is an independent variable, horsepower and weight is an independent variable. Is it contributing towards the mileage of the vehicle or not? That can be decided on the basis of the p-value, this p-value. If the p-value is less than, so I'll write it down for all of you. If the p-value is less than 0 0.05, which is which means a 5% level of significance, we can say that particular variable is significantly contributing to the dependent variable. Now what model we are getting? Let's see. We had considered the mileage of the vehicle as a target variable. The constant is 37.227. Now we will consider this one, the coefficient. Normally we consider the unstandardized coefficient minus 3.878 into weight. So we got this part. Now, what about horsepower? So it is minus 0 0.032 into the horsepower. Now, what is the meaning of this? Let's try to understand. With every increase in the weight by one unit, my mileage decreases by minus 3.878. It is a known fact that as the weight of the vehicle increases, the mileage decreases. Here, what will be the interpretation? With every increase in the horsepower unit, uh, in, in the horsepower by one unit, 
the mileage will decrease by minus 0 0.0032 as we are having negative sign. If it was positive sign, the mileage would have increased. But both are contributing, but they are contributing in a negative way. So this is a way you can use a learner operator in NIME. For more videos at NIME, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on NIME.